Imagine if you found yourself in a situation without a home or a place to go. Imagine if you had no place to receive your mail or you didn't know where your next meal was coming. Imagine if you had run out of people you could call for help. What would you do? Broad Street Ministry is the kind of place that you would want to know existed. Because not only can you come in and be greeted with respect and treated with dignity, not only could you come in and get a delicious and carefully prepared meal, you would soon be welcomed into a gateway to the rebuilding of your life. Eight years ago, I was walking past Broad Street Ministry and a couple of guys outside were saying, uh, they're still feeding people in there. And I was like, I was homeless at the time. And, uh, I was in need of a meal. And uh, I came in and I felt a strong, strong presence of God in the building. Like, struck me immediately that uh, Broad Street Ministry was like, uh, somewhat, something special. There's something special about this place. They don't treat you like you're just a homeless person walking through a chow line, you know, like a, like a soup kitchen. Uh, they actually sit you down with dignity and respect and serve you a meal. Because Broad Street Ministry is very reliant on our volunteers and other partners in the community, it's very important that we have that participation. We're helping the guests for sure, helping with food and clothing, but there's something that, that we get um, as a volunteer. It's just, it's wonderful. Guests that are experiencing whatever forms of trauma, mental illness, death in the family, being homeless, things like that, oftentimes feel a lot of, of isolation. Art therapy has been proven to be something that will help reduce some of the effects of trauma by giving someone a safe place to express whatever creative intentions they might have. We're really trying to build a community with the people that come here for services as well as people that come here to volunteer. Uh, just to strengthen those connections with the community often helps someone's mental health uh, improve a little bit. Um, on a more service level, uh, helping them connect to things like uh, medical assistance outside of here, a doctor, um, getting them into more stable housing. Uh, those are things that our guests experience over time while they're here. So what oftentimes drives people to come here is to get a mailing address that's very um, attractive to people that are homeless because they want a place to be able to get mail from the benefits that they're applying to. And having that for government purposes, that's huge. At Broad Street Ministry, they bring us back to the world. You're still a person. You get mail. People worry about you, okay? You just give them an address or something to call you. They will write you a letter. You can be uh, back in this society. We view our guests as individuals. Uh, they have a whole history, they're a whole person, and our job is not necessarily to help them and, and drag them out, but to give them the empowerment to be a little bit more stable and to reach the goals that they set forth. This is a different world, okay? And uh, I like this place. I like Boyle Street Ministries, you know, and uh, it's helping me. Without the volunteers, none of this would be possible. The vol volunteers at Broad Street are amazing. I have a saying on my refrigerator that says, the best way to lose yourself is, is in the service of others. And that's what happens here. I see people come in here in a bad mood and they leave with a smile on their face. Uh, of the top 10 largest cities in the United States, uh, this city, the city of brotherly love and sisterly affection, has the highest incidence of deep poverty, which means um, our, our challenge with poverty is great. And so Broad Street, in order for us to make the difference we want to make, we need more friends. We need people who recognize um, the severity of the issues we're facing and are the kind of people who are willing to dig in and to not lose hope and to not give up. If you're the kind of person who doesn't ever give up, then you should join us.